Hi everyone, so uh, for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a pocket tissue holder, but I modified it a little bit. So back years ago when I first started sewing, this was one of the very first projects I ever did. It's super easy and I decided to add a pocket actually a double pocket sort of, it folds over onto the back of it. So you could put some cash or your hand sanitizer or maybe even put your mask in there if you wanna keep it in there. Uh, so it's just a nice little project, easy, 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 especially for somebody beginning to sew. And I'll give you a bunch of tips along the way that have to do with sewing in general. But before we get started with that, my name is Chris O'Neill from Sew the Distance. Thank you for joining me. As always, I appreciate you so much. So we're going to start with the supply list. And after that, we're going to move on to the actual tutorial. So here we go. The fabric requirements for this project are as follows. For your main fabric, you will need one piece that measures six and a half inches by five and a half inches and two pocket pieces that measure six and a half inches by four inches. You will also need a contrasting lining piece, which measures seven and a half inches by five and a half inches. Now for the main fabric, if you pick a busy print, you won't be able to see that pocket, which can be good. It can be a hidden pocket. Uh, if you wanna highlight that pocket, of course, just use uh, contrasting fabrics. You could even mix and match if you wanted to. The general supplies are as follows. Fabric scissors, clips or pins, a turning tool with a blunt edge, iron, an ironing surface, matching thread, and then optional is a pressing ruler, a clapper, and fray check. So for today's easy tutorial, we're gonna be making a tissue case. Now, this tissue case pattern has been around forever, uh, like I had said, so it's a very easy pattern, but I modified it some, so there's a pocket back here. Now, I've seen them before where there's just one pocket that you can uh, put you know, your hand sanitizer, a little bottle of that or something in there, but what I did was I modified it so there's actually two pockets. So uh, let me show you on one that I made that has different fabrics, just so you can see the construction. So you can see here, there are actually, uh, it's an overlapping pocket. So you can put things in there and they're not gonna fall out in uh, your bag or in wherever you're gonna have this, okay? So it kind of keeps it more secure. It's a really, really easy project. And like I said, this is something I learned, I don't know, 25 years ago how to make because it is a really beginner friendly project. So let's get started with our construction. Okay, so we have our four fabric pieces here. And we have our uh, main piece, our lining or our accent piece, and then we have our pocket pieces. So I like to label them just with a piece of, uh, this is just an index card that I cut up and then I can clip on here what it is. And I do that with a lot of patterns, it really is helpful. So I'm gonna start with my pocket pieces. That's where we're starting today. And you're gonna take your two pocket pieces, which are the same size and they measure six and a half by four and the long edge here this long edge we are going to just fold it in a quarter of an inch now if you're not really good at judging a quarter of an inch i mean i've been sewing for a while so i can judge it there are some cool things on the market like this that will allow you to fold it over and you can iron right on it but you don't have to necessarily be absolutely perfect. It's more important that you're straight with this, okay? So you just fold over that quarter inch and press it. And then fold it over again. So you can just fold it over on itself so it's another quarter of an inch and press that really well. If you have a clapper, that helps, but it's not necessary. And you're gonna do that to the other one. So notice we're only doing this to one side. We're not doing it to both, just one side. We're gonna do that to the exact same thing to the other pocket. So you're basically just finishing that edge. You're gonna make sure that all of your raw edges are inside. So now we're gonna take it to the machine and we're gonna to top stitch that down so it stays in place. Now I like to do a double stitch on that. Uh, it just makes it look really neat and nicer too. So let's sew. Okay, so we're just going to sew 
on uh, this edge here and I'm gonna get really close to that edge and then I'm gonna do one a little bit further over to give it a nice top stitch. And since I am top stitching, I am going to use a uh, 3.0 stitch length and it'll just look nice. I'm also using matching thread. So here we go. I'm just lining it up. I'm using my regular foot and stitching. Then I'm going to feed this one through just to chain piece them. And then I can just back that right back out and put my next set of stitching right there. So now that we have these sewn and they're nice and neat, we're going to just press them to set the seams and to relax that thread. And we're going to clip any threads that we see that might be loose. I don't see many. Just clipping those threads, it just makes everything neat and polished. And if you just take the time to do this after each step, it will do a world of difference with your sewing. Okay. All right, so then you're gonna take your main piece of fabric that's going to be the pretty part of your uh, finished project, okay? And you're gonna place that with the right sides up, okay? So the pretty floral print on this in this case is up. And then we're going to place our pockets. And this is the hidden pocket that I showed you at the beginning. And we're gonna also place it right sides up. And we're gonna line it up with this bottom or top piece, depending on how you're looking at it, top piece here. And then we're gonna place this one the same way. So notice I have the finished seam here, okay? So I'm just overlapping those. And that's gonna give us a nice pocket that nothing's gonna fall out of, at least not very easily. And we're going to clip these edges. And you can pin them too if you want. Okay, and uh, I would even throw a couple more clips in there, especially if you're new to this. And that's gonna hold everything in place. You can see it's nice and clipped. Uh, notice I'm not super even on this, this side, so that happens. I mean, I must have cut it maybe wrong. I can trim that up uh, afterward, that's not a big deal. So now I'm gonna go to the sewing machine and I'm gonna baste all the way around and I'm gonna use like a, I don't know, like an eighth of an inch, less than a quarter inch to baste that in. And that's just gonna hold this piece in place. Okay, so for a uh, basting these down. It's basically just to make sure that everything stays together. So I'm just going to stitch close to the edge all the way around. And I'm going to move my stitch length up to like a 4.5. Okay, it doesn't really matter, but um, it doesn't need to be super secure either. So I'm just going to run that through. Okay, so this is stitched all the way around, just holding that piece or those pieces, those three pieces into place for our next step. Again, I am going to trim any threads. I see one here that's kind of in the seam. Make sure it's nice and neat. And I'm going to press, setting those seams. Even though it's just a basting, it's worth it. It keeps everything flat and nice. All right, so this is where the fun and the magic happens. We're gonna take our uh, lining piece, and this measures seven and a half by five and a half. Okay, I'm gonna press that because it looks like there's a little crease in it. 
Okay, so we're gonna notice this is bigger than this. Okay, and that's gonna give us this lining piece that comes through. So uh, you didn't make a mistake, this is the way it's supposed to be, okay? So this is our hidden pocket. We're going to take our lining piece and lay it on top, matching up the side seam. So just like that, okay? All right, so we're lining up the side seams and it's right sides together. So our pockets are facing that uh, right side of that lining piece and we're lining that up and we're gonna put some clips in or pins. If you have pins, that works too. And then we're going to take this one here and I notice I have some threads, I'm gonna trim them. My aunt taught me how to sew, or she was at least one of the people that taught me how to sew, and she was a stickler for that, and I thank her for that because it really does help improve your sewing. So now we're gonna take this, see how this is clipped on this side? We're gonna take this and we're gonna line that up, and we're gonna clip this side. Now, there's a bubble here, that's okay, okay? As long as we don't sew it down, that's okay. So we're just gonna clip it. I'm gonna put another clip in. If you've been sewing for a while, you know you probably can get away with not clipping it. All right, so now I'm gonna take it to the machine and I'm gonna sew a seam here and a seam here. So let's do it. So using a 2.4 or the standard stitch length, I'm just gonna sew a quarter of an inch down the sides here. So they're done, and I bet you can guess what I'm going to do next, All right? I am going to clip my threads. I don't see many. And then I'm gonna press those seams. I just sewed, setting those seams. Okay. So this is really cool. This is gonna blow your mind a little bit if you've never seen this. Uh, so you're gonna turn this so it's right sides out. Okay. And you're going to have it, you can see on either side, there's this nice little border when you lay it flat. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lay this nice and flat and press it really well. Okay, at this point, if you have anything peeking through, that's okay to just take your rotary cutter and trim that up, it, it, as long as it's just a minimal amount, uh, that's really not gonna matter. Uh, so what I like to do, and this is totally up to you, is I like to run a top stitch along both of these. I feel like it finishes it, and it makes it, I don't know, just, polished and it also holds everything together for the next step. So I'm gonna go do that now. All right, so to top stitch, I'm just going to run just a little bit beside that uh, hemline or accent piece, whatever you wanna call it. And I am gonna turn my stitch length up to a three because I am top stitching. And I'm just going to sew it. Gives a nice finished look. do the other side. You could even use like a decorative stitch or something like that too here. That would be really pretty. Okay, so I top stitched it along here and you can see that on the back. Uh, I am going to just trim my threads. And press. setting those seams. 
so this is what you have, okay? And we are now going to fold it and make this. So let me show you on this one how this works. If I turn this, we are going to make this, okay? And to do that, we're gonna first find our middle. So I just fold it in half. You can mark it if it's easier for you. You can even eyeball it if it's easier too. Let me do that a little bit better. You can fold it and just press it. What you want is a center line. Okay, so I have that here. And I'm gonna just fold in both sides to me now. This is where we get a little bit of a, a little bit of a disagreement with people who make these. Some people like to overlap it a little. I personally don't. I like them just meet it, meeting up, but that's a preference. If you want it to overlap, that's fine. Uh, but I like them just meeting. I think it looks really nice that way. And um, but do whatever you feel is right. If you want to overlap them, you just overlap them a little bit. All right, I'm gonna meet them up and. Once I have them folded like this, I'm gonna press and get that into place. I'm gonna use my clapper, it is bulky. And then I'm gonna take clips. I'm gonna clip it like this. Notice clips have a curve and a flat edge. The flat edge is what you want running uh, on the base of your machine, on the bed of your machine. So I'm gonna just keep that curve part up. Clip these. If you've been sewing a while, you might not even need to clip them, but hey, I think it's a good idea. All right, you can see I'm a little off up here. I'm just gonna Take these off and pull it in a little closer. Okay. So now we are going to sew, whoops, get that right. We are going to sew along this edge and this edge, just like this. And we're gonna first straight stitch, and then you can do a zigzag afterward. It just holds it together a little bit better. So let's go do it. Okay, so now that we have this all secure, we are going to sew a quarter of an inch in on both sides, okay? And uh, just use a straight stitch, a 2.4 or the standard, stitch length. We're going to back stitch at the beginning and at the end. I also like to back stitch over that um, where the, the two pieces join right here where this orange clip is, okay? So now we're going to zigzag those edges. So if you don't have zigzag on your machine, you can always just do another line of stitching to secure that, or you can even use a serger if you have it. So I'm just gonna use a standard zigzag, and again, I'm going to back stitch at the beginning, in the middle, and at the end just to secure it. Okay, so there are our ends. I'm gonna, again, trim off those threads and I can even be a little generous into that seam just as long as I don't uh, cut my uh, stitches. Get all those little threads off. And for whatever reason, that purple fabric really wants to fray. 
Okay, so there it is, all nice. Now, if you want to, you can use some fray check on the edges and just let it dry, uh, and that'll help with those edges fraying. But if you don't want to, that's fine too. This you can just get at uh, like Joey Fabrics or a lot of even hopefully local quilt shops. Check there first uh, has this, so you can use that too. Uh, and you're just gonna turn it now. And you literally just go in and turn it around. And then you can use a blunt edge of some sort of something. Actually, I have a pen right here. I'm gonna put the tip in and just push that. So notice I don't have the point out, okay? Because I don't want anything real pointy. And I'm just gonna push out those points. Just like that. Give it a nice press. Just fiddle with it a little bit. So once you get it all pressed and all turned out, you can just put your tissues in here. And um, each brand of tissues are a little different. Um, so just be mindful of that. But you just put your tissues in there. They're ready to go. And then you have this pocket. You can put some cash or you could put, you know, some hand sanitizer or whatever you'd like to in there and just keep it so it doesn't fall out in your bag. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please consider subscribing and uh, I will see you next week, actually on Monday for a, a lessons from an old quilt episode and hopefully next week, a quilt tutorial. That's what I'm working on now. We'll see, hopefully that uh, turns out. So have a great week. Make sure you take some time to sew. I'll see you soon, bye.